This is so Rolling Stone put out an article. If you guys want to make a subscription to Rolling Stone, but it's why I'm not taking the article serious because they're literally putting it behind a little subscription service and a paywall just for me to read a fucking article oh, God damn. about Jonathan Major supposedly, uh, you know, abusing people in the past. Let me grab it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not reading that shit. <laughs> It just you should just all insert like that meme. Uh, I ain't reading all that. Uh, I'm happy <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah, happy for you though. We're sorry it happened. <laughs> all right, so let me show everybody. So this is the article. Uh, so we saw a cup. It was a couple months back. Somebody at Yale came out and said that Jonathan Majors has supposedly been abusive in the past and stuff, and none of this stuff is new blah 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 all that right so rolling stones is talking about they're doing they during a three-month investigation rolling stones spoke with dozens of people whose stories suggest a pattern of alleged physical mental and emotional abuse that dates back a decade yeah but they're all just like anonymous allegations or just non-credible stuff it's like just like that filmmaker it's like god and, and that incident really pissed me off but i'll get into it later uh, so I'm going to click on this article real quick, guys. And I'm not really going to read this because you need to make a subscription service. This is why I'm not taking this recent stuff serious. Not saying Jonathan Majors is fully innocent or fully guilty. But I can't take this serious because it's very convenient. This came out the day after oh, yeah. he, he brings out more evidence yeah. that proves his innocence. Well, again, what, what they're doing, KDOTS, is they're just repeating what people already said like a little while ago without full proof, but they're just bringing it up again to try to like get it, like, like, you know, start a fire again with the fucking cancel culture instead of just yes. waiting for everything to play out after, you know, some stuff came out with him that he might be more innocent now. Yeah, he responded, uh, Vishan. I'll show you guys again what he responded to. So yeah, this, this is the article. And if they want me to read the full story, I need to subscribe and log in. Uh, look, Variety doesn't ask me to subscribe or log in to read some fucking articles. And they really think I'm going to fucking sit here and make a subscription and do that shit? No. <laughs> so yeah, guys, this isn't really a topic, but it's just, I, I can't take these allegations and stuff, these random allegations from these no-name people serious if they're not coming out to specifically say who they are, what happened, blah, blah, blah. It's just alleged shit that needs more evidence behind it for me to give a yeah. opinion. And a lot, a lot of people who came out, there hasn't been any confirmed like connections that they actually worked on any stuff with Majors. Right. Yeah, because Majors didn't really start. I mean, I think he did uh, plays before. But his yeah. first like official acting debut was the last black man in San Francisco, right? Yeah, there was like smaller stuff before that, but that was the one that really like uh yeah Where had his career profit. take off. Yep, saw that stuff and that saw that in theaters and goddamn I was like this guy's a star, give him everything, then fast forward now I'm like ah oh, shit. Two seconds later. But it's hidden behind a little subscription thing, Yay. so let's do subscribe to read this shit. Well, and suppo you, you, suppo want to, you want to hear the thing? I have I, it, and I don't have to subscribe. I have the whole article right in front of oh, me. Oh, if if you can if you can bring it up, because I'm not subscribing yeah, to this shit just to, just to read some allegations absolutely. that aren't really there. Absolutely, yeah. I can bring it up. Hold on. I have a question. Y'all think the Flash failed because the allegation by Ezra? For me, I think that's Cat. Um, it's definitely a part of it. I think it's a huge part of it yeah, you know i thought I, I did not think the allegations would affect it but let me tell you guys why i think they did i'm going you know tiktok is just one of the platforms i go to but i'm on tiktok right i go to the comments of people talking about the flash they cannot stop mentioning the shit ezra did everyone's mm -hmm. either calling ezra reverse flash saying uh you know the con the the, the usual stuff relating to his crimes like oh shoot Hopefully, hopefully Ezra, uh, it, you know, when Ezra's running in the flash, he's actually chasing those Hawaiians. Like, I can't 
help but not see it on TikTok as people keep mentioning it. That stuff has affected the movie. People keep mentioning it and talking about it. That's why they couldn't even put his ass on a red carpet because you can. The people want to ask questions like, why'd you choke the girl? Uh, you know, it's it's right. It takes away from the movie. And I agree right. with you that it does have something to do with it. But I also yeah, think it's not it's, the sole reason, right. but it is a huge part of it. That's 100%. why I think Amber Heard might just hurt Aquaman too. If Ezra did this, my he's in the lead role, Amber's not. I think Amber might affect yeah, Aquaman. It's too. been so long though. And uh, do you think how how much do you think will hurt Aquaman too? Amber's in a side role. I think if they can get away with not showing her in the trailers, which they yeah. probably could because she's not her, it, it, on the poster. Mm-hmm. Right. Because actually, it, it's, she's not leading the movie. It's her and it's Jason and Orm. So it's Aquaman and his brother from the first movie that's leading the movie. They're supposed to be working together on something. And if you but, cut down her, her, her performance to like a minimum of what you can do, where she's only in like, let's say, 20 minutes of the movie. Then I think people will be able yeah. to be like. I'm pretty know. sure they said they did that. Cut it yeah, yeah. Fifteen minutes. I agree too. I think they did too. But this is the article, guys, right here. Yeah. Got it. I'll go ahead and read it. <clears throat> Jonathan Majors was a Hollywood star and on the cusp of going supernova. The last black man in San Francisco first brought him critical acclaim. Yeah. Lovecraft Country: The Harder They Fall and Creed Three. Harder They Fall is good movie. Underrated. Very. propelled his popularity and most recently early buzz for his upcoming film Magazine Dreams and his recurring King the Conqueror character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe were set to make him a, a oh, household yeah. name. Incredible in that. King like, sucked in Ant-Man 3. Facts. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. The Major was great. But they okay. did King Dirty in Ant-Man 3. Listen, the film sucked but he was so amazing in it. And, uh, yeah, I love well, how they say, I love the how they say no, no, hold on. Go back to the top for a second. I love how they say was Hollywood star. Yeah, you, you know what? Yeah, you're right. You know what? And I read that. I never realized that. Yeah, Jonathan Majors was, and the was is in capitals too. Look at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> right. They're already counting them out before the case is even over with. Unbelievable. But lately, most headlines about Majors have been involving a messy domestic violence case. In March, Majors was arrested for allegedly attacking a girlfriend, and this week, the New York Post and Times both reported that the New York Police Department has alerted officers that there is probable cause to arrest Majors' accuser as well. The criminal case against Majors remains open, and the allegations threaten to upend his career. The first public stain on an otherwise unblemished reputation in dozens of new interviews with Rolling Stone. However, those who have known Majors over the past decade claim he has a history of abusive behavior. During this three-month investigation, Rolling Stones spoke with more than 40 people who have known Majors during his time in graduate school, his Hollywood career, and his romantic relations. Many describe Majors as being a complicated, unpredictable, and sometimes violent man. So as well as they talk to 40 people, guys, 40 people, sometimes yeah. violent man who can switch from charming to cold in a flash. All the sources in this article requested an, an, an anonymity. Animidity, uh, uh, animidity, citing That's fear right. of career reper- repercussions and personal retribution from majors. Some claim they were prohibited from speaking. My only response can be that I'm silenced by an NDA he had me sign. Says one person who worked with majors. So the people supposedly speaking out are from his time in graduate school, his Hollywood career, and romantic relationships. Yeah. Right, and. This is the biggest part, though, right? All of the sources for this article requested anonymity, right? So my thing is this. If you're going to make these claims, you got to let put out names, right? Right. We don't know how we don't know if these people you spoke to are are real. We don't know how close they were to Jonathan Majors. You can say that there were a bunch of people who were close to Jonathan Majors and they're speaking out, but right. who are they? Yeah, okay. and so what does that... Uh, again, they do this stuff a lot. It's like, 
Okay, even if that, like, also, it, you know, I think the second part right here, you know, talks about, like, again, Yale, you know, school drama, mm -hmm. yeah, physical altercations. It's like, okay, whether that's true or not, I will say, I mean, it was a while ago, people change, and what does it have to do with this specific case? Facts. Like, And this is what they right. do a lot with everybody. It's like, there could be somebody, like, I remember an instance where there was somebody who, yeah, a lot of people consider a really bad person. I believe he's, like, 88 now. Like, I think he even, like, molested his sister one time when she was, like, 14 and stuff. And they tried uh, pinning him for this murder case, and he, then he was sentenced uh, to life at one point, but then, you know, unsentenced after new information. And they did all that stuff because he was such a horrible person, which is true, but he's still with the facts proven he didn't do it and so then that's the issue i have with a lot of things it's like they it's like even if this is true like it doesn't it, it doesn't have to do with the case at hand I, i'm sorry <laughs> yeah that, that's the thing they, that's the thing right because look if majors is innocent ends up being innocent of this stuff right it's not to say that if this is true the past stuff is you know completely he's absolved but that does not change the fact that for this current thing he's supposed to be being accused of, he's innocent of. Absolutely. And really, what does this other stuff, I get, if they're trying to find a pattern or whatever, but at the moment, the girl who's accusing Majors is literally backtracking on her statements and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she's not being a very reliable source in this situation. Mm -hmm. So what are they really trying to prove at and this point? And you know, this is a pattern that they do to us all the time, right? They always try to find something in our past to say, well, they were violent in their past, so this is why this is happening. You know what I mean? Right. They did it with George Floyd. Like, regardless of what you think, because we know what a lot of people think, but yeah. um, he was, whatever he did in his past had nothing to do with that day. He did not need to be bringing up his past because you want to make him look like a bad guy. And that's yeah, exactly right. what they're doing with Jonathan Majors right now. They're trying everything they can to make him look like the bad guy. Yeah, because that's the thing, like, you know, prime example to George Floyd's situation. Okay, just because uh, some people brought up that the fact that he did, like, porn in his past and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, what does him doing porn in his past have to Facts. do with some dude putting his knee on his back, keeping Facts. him from you know breathing and stuff and getting proper circulation he's saying he can't breathe and they're ignoring his cries and guess what he ends up dying and pissing himself and the guy still has his knee on his back is like regardless you did not need to kill him mm -hmm. that day you like there was no reason to mm -hmm. there was no reason to 100%. you know you're supposed to your your goal as police officer i assume is to uh you know keep people from dying not trying to cause more people to die mm -hmm. and you can't tell me that it's a coincidence that this article comes out right after an article that shows all of the things that co counteract some of the stuff that she was saying right we got and people always say this all the time right Oh, well, if you're going to do this, bring out the evidence. Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? Well, now you're going to make an article with anonymous source sources, but no evidence. And we're supposed to just take that and be like, no, you're you're correct. You're right. He did do that. Like, get out yeah. of here with that. You know what I mean? As if, if there's evidence, okay, it's and cool, but we need to see some evidence. 100%. 100%. Because that's why, because that's why, in this case with majors, why I'm leaning more towards him being innocent because he's showing more evidence that proves his innocence more than the other side that believes. Yeah, yeah but wait, does he have the smoke though? That's a real question. Well, I mean, it's the <laughs> smoke against him. That's the problem, right? Because anytime something little comes out about him, oh, you see, guys, there's smoke. That's where it is. There's a fire there. There has to be something. Yeah, come on, come but when on, we get the other way around, facts. yeah, <laughs> we, exactly. Because when we get the other way around, it's crickets. Right. You know what I mean? No one says nothing. So. All right. Let's get to the rest of this. I know there's more to it. Mm -hmm. Jonathan Majors vehemently denies Rolling Stones. Wait, wait. Yeah, I already read the top part. Yeah. 
Dante Majors vehemently denies Rolling Stone's false allegations that he physically, verbally, or emotionally abused anyone, let alone any of his past romantic partners. Majors attorney Dustin A. Poosh wrote in a statement, these allegations are based entirely on hearsay because neither the romantic partners referenced were willing to engage with Rolling Stone for the article, demonstrating their outright falsity. Poos added that Majors also denies any allegations of abuse, violence, or intimidation during his time at Yale. And and that's the thing, right? Um, you know, I'm I'm so currently in college and stuff. A lot of us, you know, some people went to college, but it's just a school thing in general. And it's not to say that Majors didn't know a lot of people or have friends there and stuff, but like you're saying you got all these people, especially at his time in Yale, that supposedly were close to him and know him. Like, I'm not saying he didn't have any friends or knew a lot of people, but that's the thing. How well do these people know him? Facts. 100%. Right? Was it people that just was sitting in class with him and he sat in a corner and oh, saw yeah, definitely. Out? Definitely. Right. Definitely. Like, that happens a lot. It's like, they'll, it's like they're just sitting in the same classroom as him and it's like he he has just like a small temper issue one time and then they'll bring yeah, it yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's why I think uh, that's why I'm not saying Majors hasn't probably got mad at some point during his time at Yale. Have. You know, college is a stressful place. I and I guarantee someone looked at that. Sometimes people will be looking at something and they might exaggerate about it. Mm -hmm. You know, and go like, "Oh, that person's a, my person's an asshole. He's so rude." Like, you know, you might see somebody one day in class just I don't know they I don't know throw a pencil at the wall or something. That is mm -hmm. kind of wild, but. Don't just or, throw a pencil at the wall. Or it's, someone, even, it's even possible that he had maybe a disagreement with somebody, right? But yeah. now that somebody is like, oh, you know what? He's a this and he's a that because that was my experience with him. So he has to be that. You know what I mean? Like right. it happens. Because yeah, yeah, sometimes people take situations that aren't what they appear to be yeah. mm -hmm. and make them out to be something else because everybody doesn't. Everybody does not react to the same stuff the same way or perceive stuff the same as each other because they're going to take some take a situation and make it something entirely it's not. Yeah, and, and you know what? Maybe he does like have issues like that, and like you know, like uh, and it's hard to work with. Like I know Bill Murray had a lot of altercations and has you know issues, a lot of issues like that, but. You know, doesn't make him an abuser, does it? It doesn't confirm right. that. Right. And and uh, we have I, a video actually, of Tom, we have a video of Tom Cruise running around there during COVID yelling at people and stuff. Is he an abuser? You know what I mean? Yeah, it reminds like, me of like the Toby Maguire clips as well. <laughs> I mean, I actually 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 did agree with what Tom was saying on the set though, because like, you know, hey, we try to get this movie done. Either oh. you know. 100% I agreed with them, but you'll have but you, people but in you, there you, who you are sensitive, right? right? And say, oh, no, he abused me. You see the way he talked to us? He's an abuser. But is he That's really the thing. Someone would take that situation and call it abusive. You know, in my opinion, from what I saw and what we saw, I don't think it was abusive. But someone could absolutely, in that situation, say what, what Tom did was abusive. Yeah. yeah, he came off kind of very blunt and mean about it. But... You know, we in a situation where, you know, you can potentially get sick easily and catch this thing called COVID and die. And people are not taking this situation as serious as they should and doing mm -hmm. the proper, you know, precautions that's going to help uh, suppress it. Yeah. So uh, real quick, and just just an example of what uh, Anzo was talking about. So not sure if you guys watch Wild and Out, but um, this person right here on the right. Um, DC Youngfly, he's a comedian on the show, and Azalea Banks is a singer, and she's was a guest on it. They have they have a bit where they roast each other. It's called Wild Style. Now DC Youngfly roasted her, right, and she took it as a personal attack that you know he was attacking her and slandering her. But the purpose of the situation of the of this little game is that you're supposed to roast each other, and you know you're supposed to rap and roast each other. He roasted her. She took it personal. While everybody else in the audience and most of the uh, most of the media took it as it's literally a roast session. That's the point of this of the thing. It's no personal attacks. It's part of the show. It's a roast session. It's for comedy. And she took it as a personal attack that he was attacking her, you know, for her personality and all that and everything. When it's not it, that is not what it was. It's mm -hmm. a roast. It's a rap battle roast. It's for comedy. That's the whole point of the show. 
you know, why would you come on to the show knowing you can't handle comedy and these jokes and you get offended? Right. Absolutely. But some people are like that. They will take a situation that is not what it is and make it something else. And this person here on the left, Azalea Banks, did that when the person on the right here who was doing the jokes did not meet is not attacking them for their identity or whatever. They're just, you know, roasting them like they would roast anybody else that was a guest on the show. Absolutely. And let me just say this, because William um, Moloch, you make a good point. He says, Majors broke into my house and forced me to sign an NDA against my will. <laughs> That's exactly it. Non-disclosure agreement, which means both parties have to agree, right? So you yeah. sign that. You sign that. Like, come mm -hmm. on, man. All right. Unless, unless Jonathan had a gun in your head forcing you to sign it, okay, then that's a different thing. But exactly. you have to willingly sign an NDA Facts. to, you know, agree with it. You you can't force anybody to sign an NDA. And even Facts. when you get an NDA, you can't even really discuss the fact that there is an NDA because that's the point of the NDA. You can't even talk about it. So, you know, that's kind of a breach of the NDA that you willingly signed. Exactly. That's why I recommend people read contracts that you sign <laughs> before you uh, before you sign them, or you're gonna mm -hmm. sign your life away. Mm -hmm. uh, most seriously, more than a dozen sources collectively claim to Rolling Stone that Majors allegedly abused two romantic partners: one physically, both of them emotionally. It was pervasively known that he was a good actor, and that also he would also terrorize the people that he had dated. One of the sources said. Majors allegedly strangled one woman he was dating and was mentally and emotionally abusive with her. Nine of those, of those sources claim. The second woman allegedly told friends that her relationship with Majors was emotional torture. Those who are friends of the women or were present during the relationship with Majors independently corroborated details of the alleged abuse. Throughout conversation with Rolling Stone, they described feeling alarmed by what they witnessed at the time or what they were told by the women. Now, when it comes to relationship stuff, I really need to hear both sides. Because you can't, it's not say that some stuff is one sided and one person is very abusive in a relationship and it's only one sided. But uh, I need to hear both sides because some, some stuff don't be what you what they make it out to be in relationship. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. it could be the other way around. Jonathan could be the one that was the actual victim in the relationship, and the girls could have been the ones that was uh, 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 abusive. Mm -hmm. Or it can just be a case that. You know, it's just a, a big miscommunication and it's exactly not what it's made out to be with their relationship. Because that's Absolutely. how stuff happens with these relationships. There'll be a lot of miscommunication and, you know, uh, shit just hits the fan from there due to some miscommunication in general. And, and, let, and let me say this, because right now we already know that, you know, they're trying to bring this man down or whatever. So the people that are sitting there saying that they don't want to talk because yes. of retribution or what Jonathan Majors might do or their career. I mean, right. if Jonathan Majors is convicted and found guilty, then you're a hero. You helped get this abuser off the street. You know what I mean? No one's going to be looking at you to try and take away your career because they got what they needed to get. So it, the the... People them saying right, that right now, every, there's more people against Jonathan than who's with him. Not Absolutely. even Hollywood. Anthony yeah. Mack is the only person that came out and backed him up. He's the only person from Hollywood in the Hollywood circle that has backed him up. Only Absolutely. Anthony Mack. Kevin Feige hasn't even said shit to defend Jonathan Majors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I'm in, I'm in agreement, but in a little defense, I mean, that does happen a lot though too. Like even if you know, even in situations like these, like I remember that uh, one female who was pretty much like the first person to like, with 100% proof, like irrefutable, expose Harvey Weinstein. But then they still made up uh, the media and like, you know, Harvey's assistants and stuff. They'll like made up stuff and stuff and reports to then make her look like the villain and keep him safe for a few more years. And it pretty much ruined her entire reputation and career even to this day so i mean there's yeah, a chance yeah, there's yeah, people, yeah. so i can understand that fear but i mean i don't think this is really in the same realm but, though like right because we're talking about an actor 
right? We're not talking about Harvey Weinstein was huge in Hollywood, yeah. right? Yeah. Producer made a lot yeah. of money for them. And this is the time island. to do it. This is the right. perfect time to do it if he right. was really guilty. Right. We're talking about an actor. You know what I mean? Like, come on now. Let's let's not conflate the two. There's actors, and he is nowhere as big as Harvey Weinstein, or even had has half the power that Harvey Weinstein had. Or hey, even if he had prime R. Kelly power. R. Kelly, I mean, he's he's locked up now. But he he had some he had some influence to keep himself you know from prison for a long time, and uh, there was a a lot of stuff that he was accused of was actually true. But you know, over time, a lot of people just didn't care to really pursue him about it. But and he also was able to pay off enough people to keep them quiet right. and you know keep them in check. But that's the reason why they let R. Kelly do what he did for so long is because he was bringing in that money, right? Wow. He was the number one R&B artist at the time. You know what I mean? He was their cash cow. So, of yep. course, they're going to turn a blind eye to some of the stuff that he was doing, you know? But once that cash ran out, okay, now we can get him. And that's what they did. That's what they do. Yep, and that's, I mean, you're 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 not wrong. Like I said, it just... Money plays a big part in this. There is some racism tied to it. I'd say even money plays even the money and what status you are at in the specific field. Like Cole brought up Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein is on a different level in Hollywood. He was a he was a he was a producer. He ran his own company. Majors, he's just an actor, right? Facts. He he doesn't have that much power like we think. He may have some power on set at times based off the roles he's playing. Like, oh, he's playing Kane. So I can understand if, you know, there's a lot of people catering to him, like, you know, hey, Jonathan, you want some water, man? Yeah. Hey, Jonathan, you're doing great as Kang, man. Hey, Jonathan, yeah, what you need, bro? Another thing, though, this, he, his career is has just been, like, taken off in the last four years. Mm -hmm. So it's not up on that level yet. It's sort of like I would say on par with, like, Chris Tucker. So, you know, so it's not, like, on that, like, level where you yeah. should be that afraid, like, you know, like Tom Cruise maybe on, like, no, I want right, to if, right. If, if 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 like I can understand if oh, if Tom Cruise was accused of stuff and he had victims, I was afraid to come out because Tom Cruise got way more influence and in, I mean he got his own little you know little production company. Hands and stuff down. And all that. Hands but down. he has way more influence than majors to do mm -hmm. some stuff and mm -hmm. you know not. Yeah, to, not you to think anybody's anymore. criticizing him for Scientology? You think anybody's going to try to do that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? But it's because Tom Cruise is who he is, right? Look at his yeah. Mission Impossible movies. Those things make so much money that he's a bankable artist. Right? Oh, yeah. And he's like so. saving Hollywood right now in the box office after Top Gun Maverick. So they're not going to touch him. Yeah. Yep. 100%. 100%. Uh, let me finish up these last two little paragraphs. Roller Stones is withholding the names of the women and the specifics of the relationships as several sources voice fear that Majors and his team will retaliate against a woman. My experience in dealing with him and watching him in relationships with several women is really upsetting, says one person familiar with at least two of Majors' relationships. As an outside observer, it made me uncomfortable. That's another thing, too. How much did this outside observer know them? Was they a friend of the girl? Was they a friend of Jonathan? Like, who was they? And also, there's a lot of people that see people in relationships now because you have to factor in this too. Was this person single? Was they envious of a relationship? Like, there's could be so much more to it. Mm -hmm. Some people look at relationships, I mean, it's like when we was in high school, you single, you know, you, you over here walking down the hallways and you see these two couples kissing. I ain't gonna lie to you. There's some people that got a little butt hurt, like, man, why the fuck mm -hmm. they kissing this shit? I want a girlfriend. Man, mm -hmm. fuck them too. Over oh, I like that girl. Right. Why why is she with him? Right? There's this perfect video. Um, I don't know if you guys ever saw it. It's kind of old, right? But it's a guy and a girl, and they're having a conversation. And the girl is talking about how the guy was hitting on her friend. Yeah. And he was like, I was never hitting on your friend. What are you talking about? Oh, she told me. She told me. So they end up calling the girl. And the girl says, oh, I lied. You don't deserve him. 
You which, know what I mean? Yeah, that like that that stuff. It's not saying that is exactly what's happening here, but like I said, that could be a factor. It can be that. Mm-hmm. It can be this, mm-hmm. because this is a person looking at a relationship from an outside outside in. Hell, mm-hmm. there's people that are in marriages, right? And there's other people doing more better in their marriage. And they see, like, man, I want a marriage like that. Mm-hmm. Mine's is trash. That one is so much better. Mm-hmm. Right? And that marriage they're looking at could be a shitty-ass fucking marriage. And they think it's a great marriage and all that when it's really not. Because they're looking from the outside in. They are not in the relationship. A lot of people that try to speak from a third party's pr- perspective on these, these relationships and they're not in it. You, they're not even that credible. The two, two people in a relationship are the ones who are actually in it and know about what's going on between the two. And and another thing too, right? You can go back to like, let's say, okay, so that yeah, when it. he was in school, this and that, right? But right. you could have also had a woman that he was dating probably broke up with her. He mm-hmm. ended up making money and being coming with a Hollywood actors and she mad because he broke up with her and she's not by his side. So you know what? Let's slander his name. Yeah, he was abusive to me. He was this. He was that. Right. Yeah. It's just, it's just unless you're going to have these people come out and talk about it and give their names, nothing in this article to me, it, it, it's I wouldn't use it to wipe my butt with. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it's, so yeah. many people have different di- different different definitions a lot of this stuff to try to like smear people as well as like i remember uh, i still remember that as uh, i can't pronounce his name properly so i'm sorry if i don't but uh aziz ansari i believe his name was like got pretty much like almost canceled and like for a while oh like, the, this... the comedian yeah yeah, it, yeah yeah like literally what she said was literally just like a bad date basically mm-hmm. that's all mm-hmm. and then you know tried to make some like uh, abuse stuff up and such and it's just like and, and then there's so many people and just in like What's every that? situation like the, like that's one example but there's many of them where then people are like oh okay well it may be not be your uh, definition of abuse but you know what uh she was uncomfortable and emotionally damaged it was mm-hmm. abuse to her so mm-hmm. that's enough mm-hmm. yeah that's yeah. why okay it's shit i'll give an example um uh, I, I I see. Um, all right, so there's a lot of people in relationships that uh, you know. It, for example, you at home mm-hmm. with your girl, you 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 slap her on the ass, right? I randomly out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Slap her on the ass. That. Oh, he definitely would. <laughs> <laughs> but he he just randomly slap you just randomly slap your girl on the ass, yes. right? There are some people that think that is weird as shit and weird as shit, even if you're in a relationship. Mm-hmm. But to the people in the relationship, that's fine with them, mm-hmm. right? Some people from the outside might look at it like, "Oh, that's weird. Why are you just randomly slapping your girl ass in uh in you know out of nowhere like that in, in public in front of people? Like that's his girl. That's what they like to do. Mm-hmm. You know, that's their thing. Now, if the girl disapproves, of, it d- does not like it. Okay, that's a different story. But they both fuck. They, that's their thing. Well, but you're not in that relationship to know what is truly like what their boundaries are and what they're okay to do with one another. Mm-hmm. People like to assume, mm-hmm. you know, they, they, they project their own boundaries onto, uh, they project what they think should be onto someone else. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. They bro. Like there's, it. there's some people that don't like to even see like people kiss in public. You know what I mean? Right. And it's like, Oh, what are you doing? Don't do that in public. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but you don't know the dynamics of their relationship. You know what I mean? Maybe they right. like public displays of affection, so they mm-hmm. do it. You know, it's that's just, just that's that's yeah. just a thing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's I. Uh, I'm not sure if it, I'm gonna show y'all because I'm not sure if anybody's seen this. Literally, did a video on it this morning. Uh, right here. So. This is prime example of what I'm talking about. This is a totally different situation, but it has to do with the submarine thing. And um, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but one of the step one of the step kids of the stepdad that was in the submarine, you know, he was on Twitter mm-hmm. and he posted that he was going to a Blink 182 concert, right? Mm-hmm. And here comes Cardi B to say, um, the point was 
The whole world is praying for these people in the submarine, and this man's son is online shaking dicks for girls off OnlyFans and going to Blink-182 concerts. He was looking for clout all along. Nobody knew who you were until you said that was your stepdad. This was why people had you spoiled brat billionaires. You also desensitized. And Cardi B's projecting her own way of grieving and how she would deal with a situation while this person is doing their own form of grieving, right? Yeah, this was so is, it, is it exactly what I would do in this situation? No, but it's unfair to project what you think should happen in this situation mm -hmm. based off what you yeah. dealt with because you that, are not many deal with di you know different ways like I, I, rem I remember the time you know where so many people said that it was suspicious that people you know after they lost a relative uh that they were like smiling awkwardly awkwardly because you know it was such a tough situation for them and that happens and then they tried to say that oh that's suspicious did they murder them it's like what like, no, that's mm -hmm. just how some people are. Yeah, Shout I out. mean, are you? Do you expect anything less from Cardi B? It's fucking Cardi B. Come on, she should be. A I, mean, I don't. Really, I don't expect much from her. I'm just saying that <laughs> it's just an example of like what I'm talking about. People just projecting stuff, you know. Shit, uh, when my brother passed away, right? Um, and I heard the news about it. My mom was crying. I wasn't crying. Does that mean I don't love my brother or care about him? No, it's just that I just didn't cry when I heard about the news. I was sad. But I didn't. Some people think that's weird. You know, like, oh, we should be crying for you when your brother dies. There's some people that do. I didn't. I didn't cry until we I would until we went to his wake and I saw his body. Because that was my first time seeing a dead body. And I was more freaked out about seeing a dead body than the actual situation, right? Mm -hmm. does, does that mean I don't love my brother? No. I just react to stuff very differently for somebody else. But someone would call me weird for not grief for not crying. But you know, that's their opinion, but still they can't project what they can't project what they what they would do in that situation and apply it because I'm not them. Right. I mean yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You can't expect people to, you know, react the same way you would. Like it's that same situation. Um, my cousin, when his father died, he didn't cry. He was at the yeah. funeral, he did everything, he did not cry one time, you know what I mean? I'm sure maybe while he was alone by himself, he probably did, right? But at the point, that funeral, maybe he wasn't the type of person that wanted people to see him cry, you yeah. know? But people expect, oh, well, he didn't cry, so you don't love your father. That's definitely not the case. It's like, it's like nah, that's, that's, just, that's just how it is. And that's why I say with this situation with majors and stuff, these people that know him, how well do they know him? Are they, are they, did they see something and they, uh, and they not look looking at it with the full context because, like you said, we said earlier, majors could have probably had an argument with somebody, right? And yeah. some person have walked into the middle of the argument mm -hmm. and heard what major said and not yeah. what the other person or just said. in present of it, you know, again. And then they have like that. It, this is Twitter in a nutshell, though. That in a nutshell, though, they have that like dope, dopamine effect where it's like, oh, they can get involved in this. This is my opportunity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's ridiculous, bro. And this this article just shows me how bad they want to bring this man down for whatever reason. You know what I mean? Because you had all this information come out, and all of a sudden now we're going to drop this article. This article, right, that they, she was working on for three months, but it right. coincidentally comes out mm -hmm. a day after all the information yeah. from Jonathan Major's camp comes out. Oh, that's shady to me. And, and, it was and I think I think we all heard though. It was all info we already heard. So, but mm -hmm. so she just dropped this, you know. Right. But see, I think, I think whether he was guilty or innocent, I, I I think this this new evidence came out of showing more of his innocence. Just push this person to go ahead and push this article out now to Absolutely. quickly get there. But I think even after if he was guilty, they would just throw this out there anyways to go mm -hmm. like, yeah, he's guilty. Mm -hmm. Now we have this stuff back here from the past that proves why he's even more guilty, right? Okay. But either way, bo both of it is regardless is still a strategic type of. Uh, it's, it's it is very strategic. It doesn't feel like it's very genuine to put this out because you know if if. To me, them waiting until now when he's playing Kang to do this, 
when they could have done this during Lovecraft Country, mm-hmm. which it did, Lovecraft Country did blow up. Mm-hmm. You know, there's people that was like pissed that it didn't even get a season two. They it was they was begging for a season two. It was like you know, I was yeah, released. I wanted to, I wanted the season two also, mm-hmm. and people was begging for it. These people that supposedly don't like Jonathan from his past could have come out at Lovecraft Country to to attack him. Facts. Why Facts. wait until he is king? Yeah, like they they did that uh, this year with an actor who was in that. It's like the most popular show this year, Beef. Like, and then some actor got accused on like oh, a um, yeah, uh, and that old podcast saying that. a bunch of things, and then talked about yeah. that a uh, woman that he said he like fucking raped or some shit. I don't really look into that situation. I do, but that was yeah. It, it, that was also another. Uh, that, that seems like it, a situation. It happened, it like you, for example, it, you you make up like it happens so often. You know, uh, Stephen Yuen does this thing, does this new Netflix show that really just boosts his boosts him up now. And then mm-hmm. someone tries to resurface this thing from his past and mm-hmm. take him down. Oh yeah, if, I, I, you oh could have got God. him saying this. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Well, what did they? Th- please don't tell me they actually like resurface that uh, old viral funny meme clip as like, yes, you're gay. You're gay, and then try to do that to cancel him. Please don't tell me that's what they did. I mean, I think that's what it, I think that's I, from what I remember. I think that's what it was. Is someone trying oh to God. resurface? Then nobody had to that. That was, that was like a hilarious meme clip. Like that. All right, that has like ten million views on YouTube. Nobody has an issue with it, but then it's like some like twelve year old TikTok user sees it, and then it's like, yeah, let's get he's homophobic. Let's cancel it. Right. <laughs> Fucking kill me. That's like the filthy Frank stuff. It's like, it's oh really, no, JoJo's filthy Frank. What? It's like, yes, it's, you live under a rock. <laughs> It's just ridiculous the way they, you know what I mean, try to dig up all this information from your past Mm -hmm. because maybe you didn't do something that they wanted you to do or whatever reason it is. You know what I mean? I mean, people change. You know what I mean? I've said some shit in the past that I wouldn't say now. I'm sure we all have. But yet you want to go and judge somebody for something they did when they were young. Come on. You're right. That's it, Jonathan. You know, it's not not to say what he did if he if he did do this stuff was okay, but like, you know, you catching people at these times when you know they're still coming up, mind you, Yale when he's in college and everything. You know, not not to say that I I remember the thing at Stanford. Not sure if y'all remember it, but those people that raped that girl and at Stanford a couple years ago, and they mm-hmm. and they only got like six months, and the, and the judge tried to justify it, saying, "Well, they're young." You know, I don't want to ruin their lives, so you give them six months in jail, and it's like the fuck they just raped this girl like six yeah. months just because they're young. I don't give a fuck they young like they did some yeah. fuck shit. Yeah, with, but with that situation, I'm not saying Jonathan did that, but like I said, we need to know the context of what these people talking about because I yeah. want to know what you mean by abusive. Because yeah, and I, and anybody I really don't calls think any, they, about anything abusive now when it's I not. I really don't think the majority of people truly understand themselves or have like a good conscious in their minds until they're like around 21. Or don't understand what the word abusive means, right? Because yeah. they're just like, oh, he yelled at me. Oh, he's abusive. He's abusive. You know what I mean? Like, come on now. Let's let's hear some of the abuse you're talking about, right? Come out and say, you know, say it with your chest. If you're right. gonna go and talk to these people about all this stuff, then say it with your chest. Bring it out there. You know, I'm sure his ex girlfriends, right? Unless they're in Hollywood, they probably don't have to worry about their Hollywood careers. So, you know, say it with your chest. Bring it out. Let's hear. It. Don't be anonymous. If you're going to slander the man, if you're going to say shit about him, then you should be able to say who you are. Yep. Just come out and Because it's better to just be straight up, come out and say it. That's why I, I'll be honest with you. Um, you oh shit. I think these actors in general and people working in these places in these fields i understand they don't want to lose their jobs they don't want to lose opportunities i get that shoot there's hell even at the job i'm at there's certain stuff that if something happened like would i keep quiet about it so i keep my job i don't know yet but i implore this for everybody 
especially these actors. If you dealing with abusive shit, call that shit out on the spot. Get it then. This is when the Ray Fisher situation happened, and while I don't disagree with him wanting to come out and talk about the abuse he dealt with, but I would have res totally respected more if he said that in 2017 while he was part of the film. I get it, NDA, and you know, he's this is his first big film, but I would have totally respected your approach more if you did that in 2017 and said, out this man Josh Whedon was being this, 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 and that, all that. Instead of waiting four years when your new movie is releasing, where you get a much bigger role to finally say something, right? Yeah, I'm sure Josh Whedon was 2017. a little rude to him, you know, because he was like a newer actor, and Zack Snyder gave him a lot of like freedom, and then Josh Whedon probably shut him down, and then you know didn't like him as an actor, so it took away a lot of scenes. Yeah, I'm sure right. that will happen. And, and like the, it's just it's just the approach, right? I like I said, I don't fully agree with Ray Fisher in general. But I don't disagree. I'm not saying he did not suffer and deal with any abuse, but his approach to it to me was always way too suspect, and I never liked it. Yeah. But if he said that in 2017, I respect that way more because you did that shit at this opportunity where you could have lost your whole career, and you know it's just I. It would have been a better approach to do that shit on the spot because it shows that. You know, you're in it for the justice. You're not in it for this other shit. You're in it for the justice. Yeah, and to, we'll try to... Uh, you know, bring up other things with other people outside of Joss Whedon, which is pretty much bullshit, right. and then act like a lunatic on Twitter. That that would help too. You know, right? The, the, yeah. His credibility. Yeah, that that that's the thing. It's just it's it's the it's your approach that does matter too, because too many people have these. Um, too many people be a little bit vindictive and they have weird motivations when it comes to this type of stuff that it's, it's like, what are you, in, what are you in it for? What are you truly in it for? Are you in it for the justice? Because if for me, if I'm dealing with a situation, right. And you know what, let's say me and Cole last year got into a fight, right. You know, we got into, let's say Cole did something I didn't like. And I, didn't really say nothing about it. Let's say I wait until 2026. Me and Cole are still friends, and I finally call Cole out for it. You know, it's not say that I my what I'm calling him out for is invalid, but I'm not gonna do that shit. If I didn't call you out about it, then it is it, it, it clearly was not that important enough for me to uh, pursue it. If I didn't call you out for it, then no, no, I'm not going to bring it up again because no, I'll do you know, I should have called you out for it then, not now. I'll make uh, 50 see, response videos for the money. Hell here's yeah. the thing, though, KDOT, right? Yeah. You talk about Jonathan Majors when he's just coming up. It's not as big headlines. You wait until he becomes big and then you bring him down. You know what I mean? Now you got clicks. Now you got money. Now you got all of this stuff, right? There's no money into it when bringing him down when nobody knows who he is. But okay. now that everybody knows who he is, yeah, let's let's do it now. Okay. Yeah, and that that's and that, that's the thing that is money is just a bigger motivator for all this stuff. People, I don't know, it's so many crooked people out here nowadays. But I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you. If you give me a check for something, Jesus. <laughs> uh, I mean, a lot of jealousy. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty oh, much what yeah. happened, though, with that, uh, you know, one, I forgot her name, but the one female who, you know, went to that country and then was, like, murdered, and there was that video, you know, of her friends just, like, beating her up. It's like, they didn't... Oh, the, the, the Shane... The Shane the there, yeah. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the thing is, you know, they were still all fine with her and such, but then she... But then once the moment so, she became really successful so, and they got that new job and stuff, then they like had a you know jealousy towards her, so then they did it. Yeah, and that's uh I mean I'm glad you brought it up too, because that Shinquella incident. Um Is there any updates on it? No, I mean well they're not I don't think the I don't think the people that did it got convicted. Really? I don't think they did from the last I remember. Cause um it was I think they said the Mexico wasn't really trying to investigate it like that. 
because it happened in Mexico. They wasn't really trying to investigate the situation or the whole matter. Yeah, I don't think they got convicted either, to be honest with you. That's what the fuck. But I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. So is there any uh, one thing that I'm very interested in, though, and this actually kind of uh, you'll remember that incident. Uh, I believe it was like that uh, famous TikToker who then like killed her boyfriend. And she said, yeah, yeah. He, he, he launched at her and threw a knife. Like it. Like a yeah, professional yeah. knife thrower somehow threw the knife perfectly to kill him. And then the police were like, all right, you can go. Nothing suspicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's many videos of her abusing him. But yeah, then she got arrested finally, though, and they were having that court case. I was wondering if there's any update on that. No idea. Wasn't that the – wait, wasn't that the white girl with the with – with the that was the black dude? I yeah. remember that shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, is there any update oh, on that? Good. Because she got like arrested finally, and they were having yeah. that court case. But see, that's that's the crazy thing about it was because we all knew she fucking did it. Even even the even the law knew she did it, and with the with the bullshit justice system, they're like, oh, we can't really convict her yet because it was like yeah, she yeah, fucking did it. We know it's she's incredible. did. We know she did it. So you you know how. Like skilled of like a fucking knife thrower, you need to be to pull that off. If she... <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. All I'm saying okay. is, oh, and, and okay. I'm, I'm a little bit on. Um, I, I'm gonna say this because Ken Okada said he don't want to say, it, but I'm saying it. He's innocent. Jonathan Majors is innocent. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm I'm leaning more towards him being innocent. Like, so I'm I mean, still. I, I never want to say 100 percent until. Because I really want to see the video. Hey, did that shit. I'm waiting for <laughs> some part. I want to see hey, the dude. video play out because when that video comes out and it's not what people think it is. Oh, oh yeah. my god! I mean, I, I, I never want to say 100 percent to something until it's that that Rolling, Sto- that Rolling Stones article makes it seem like he was like a formal uh, formal pimp or some shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, 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 he's more innocent. He was pimping out these girls, and uh, yeah, hey, y'all remember uh, the side NDAs? You know, he was uh, he was he was uh, he was Will Ferrell's character from the other guy's movie, he was a pimp in college. Oh, Oh, from like, he had the baby powder and shit, and all that, (laughs) yeah, yeah, so dumb, you know what I mean? Like, we got to remember, um, Jonathan Major's career only started kicking off in what the last. How many years? Couple yeah, years. Twenty nineteen. So, yeah. Yeah. Right. So let's say twenty nineteen. So, what are you signing an NDA for? You know what I mean. Like, what are you signing right. it for? That shit don't mean nothing now since you're talking about it. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Because like, when that NDA got signed or whatever, he wasn't even big enough to like be NDA worthy of anything. You know usually, what I'm saying? Usually people like, you know, R. Kelly, for example, right? He he going to get an NDA because we know he going to be, he want to do some freaky shit. Right. With a bunch of people that cult they don't want to do. He don't want all these shit. girls coming out. Not freaky talk. shit, it's cult shit. <laughs> yeah, cult. But, you know, his, his there's, a, there's a lot of these uh, celebrities that want to, even Drake does it. When he hooks up with some of these girls, he has them sign an NDA. Yeah, yeah. Jared Leto. Because, because he doesn't, I don't know what he's doing with them. But you know, he knows some of them might might come out and you know uh, say some shit. Miss, mis- yeah. mis- uh, yeah. mis- yeah. uh, like, uh, like the point point his toes. Um, literally, that freaking I think he's a basketball player, football player. The the guy who's recently in trouble with oh, yeah. a bunch of women. Zion. Uh, Zion, and then that, yeah. there's that porn star coming out talking about oh he, I'm I'm his I'm his I'm his baby yeah, mama. Yeah. He yeah. he's That's his fault. Out, all that he messy. I mean, yeah, yeah, he, he's met, but like those are the type of people that would get these NDAs like that mm-hmm. because that type that type of situation because she's coming out saying, "Oh, I'm you know he I'm I'm the baby mama, he's uh, he I'm carrying his baby and stuff." They don't they, they don't want they don't want the whole world knowing about that. That's why they get the NDA for shit like that. Jonathan Majors was not big enough at that time to have an NDA for any reason to like shut anybody up. Right. You know that, that's right. the smoke, baby. That's the smoke. Among unless, them. unless he was having, you know, one of them, or always <laughs> having them big Hollywood parties where anything right. goes on, you never know what's. Eyes wide shut. I mean, that's a possibility. 
But if you're signing the NDA for that, then you can still talk about shit that didn't happen at the party. You know what right. I mean? So I don't. And know even if it's mean. even if it's like something abusive, they're trying to make you stay quiet about. Uh, that that you can talk, you can still break the NDA to talk about you being abused. Absolutely. If the NDA is like directly breaking, that, that shit just yeah. don't make no goddamn sense. Like, yo, motherfucker, put hands on me. Like, it's call cops. Like, what the fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it's like, hey, he put he put my hands on me when we were having sex. Please. Don't make no sense to <laughs> that shit don't make no sense to people. So there are gonna be people running with that shit. See, look, look, there's more people. You got no names. You know what I mean? All, all, all autonomous, right? But yet, look how many forty people, guys. There's forty people. We <laughs> were these forty people two years ago? Yeah. We right. right. We can't tell you their names, but believe <laughs> us, there's forty people yeah. that say this about him. Yeah, I don't know, man. People. That's, that's what I'm saying. It, it, Jonathan Majors is a pimp. <laughs> like that's what they're saying. <laughs> pretty much. Mm-hmm. Jonathan Majors. Been a, that was that he was a pimp before. Like you know, he was a, a pimp turned. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, bitch slapping girls and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where's my money? You know, get my yeah, money. I would love to step just a club to walk that, that block. Slapping someone. <laughs> That'd be the funniest thing ever if he just there was a clip out there of him pimp slapping someone. That'd be fucking hilarious. I couldn't be mad with him for that you shit. Know? I'm like, yo, I didn't expect that. All right. <laughs> but it's just, it's just slander right now for whatever reason. We don't know why they want to bring him down so bad. I think because black man. and he was about to really run Hollywood. You know what I mean? Like he was gonna be everywhere in every movie. Uh, and then every, Jordan. Yeah, everybody wanted him to star in their movie. He would have probably had so many roles, you know, blockbuster movies, maybe the next Will Smith. And no, no, you don't want to be the next Will Smith. Well, I mean, when it, I mean, when it comes to um, <laughs> the money he was making in yeah. the movies, yeah, you mm-hmm. definitely want to be yeah, on that. Better movie. than Will Smith. <laughs> yeah, but Will Smith was no slouch. Let's let's not get it twisted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Will Smith went from um, Independence Day, all those movies around those times. He was nobody. Guy. Nobody's gonna ever top that. Like you slap somebody at like on at an Academy Awards and still win a. Like nobody's ever going to do that again. But even all right, I'm Legendary. glad you're right. Will Smith, like even well, Will Smith, got dragged harder than Ezra Miller for the stuff. Oh yeah, did. Will Smith's been dragged yeah, yeah. though. Like you yeah, know, yeah. like that's like, oh, but like the whole like, August shit. Like you know, he's been dragged. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it, I, mean, I don't agree with all the dragging. I think, but it's just yeah. like this is this is why I goes back to my example of how I'm saying. And mind you, take out all the race stuff with it in in general, right? Serious stuff happening with these people, and people can't keep their biases out of these situations. This is serious shit, and everybody bringing their biases into it. I've talked about this with Cole at the start of the stream. If me and Anzo is having an argument about uh, MCU Captain America versus MCU Spider-Man, who's better, and I'm a fanboy of Cap, and I say, man, Tom Holland trash, he weak, blah, blah, blah. Um, that, that You know, my bias with that is harmless. That is not going to damage or destroy nobody. But if I have a bias between two people that are doing something bad, you know, I, I see, I see, you know, two killers. Not and and you know, I like this killer better because he's a rapper. He's my favorite rapper, and the other killer is someone I don't care about. You know, they both killers at the end of the day. They both bad people. I need to keep the same energy with both. I can't just pick and choose. You know, no, you gotta be why you are you are you're either with YSL or you with Gunner. <laughs> well, I mean, Gunna album, Gunna album was better than Young Thug. For you know, it, you know, I'm just saying. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Marvel yeah. was about to make this guy the center of their whole Phase Five. That yeah. is huge because Marvel has never really centered on one main character, much less now you're going to center on a villain. Yep. You know what I mean? And he was going to play so many different literations of that character. So he was going to be huge. He was going to really end up showing how good of an actor he is. You know? And yeah, he was he was on the rise, man. They didn't even really center it on uh, you know, um, Thanos. Thanos. I mean, he, Thanos was a build-up, but like, not the way they trying to like push 
Jonathan. No, not yeah. even close. Yeah, no. yeah, not even close. No. Because was Thanos good. was in the background, right? They're yeah. they're bringing Kang to the forefront in multiple movies, playing multiple different versions. Like no one else in the MCU is doing that. Like you know, Robert Downey Jr. ain't coming back and playing an alternate version of him. You know, so it's he was gonna be huge, and they didn't want that. They don't want that for him. But that's just a, you know, I mean, there's nothing really much else I can say on the matter. And you can find perp minded at well, perp minded. Yeah. Uh, any last things y'all want to say before we head over? Yeah. All right, thanks for having me, man. Yeah. And re- remember, you know, there's always smoke, <laughs> especially in Canada right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh my gosh, Gordo. Hey, uh, I hope everybody in Canada is doing all right. Uh, I moved away at the perfect time. Jeez. What did you do?